question is when to replace or rotate out that dark old comb. Um, I don't have a very set way I do this. It, it wouldn't be bad to have a set way you do this where you maybe write the date um, on the top bar, that kind of thing. But what I do is I look at that comb and if it's really dark, um, what will happen is the cell walls thicken. So every time they raise a baby in that cell, there's a little bit of the cocoon and everything left over. And so you'll look at it and the cells have started to get really small and the walls have started to get really thick. It'll actually get heavier over time. Um, hopefully you don't keep them so long that they're heavy when they're empty, but <laughs> I've definitely seen it. Um, those are the ones that I tend to, to get rid of. Um, and I say there's not really a, a time frame. I know people say, I think about every three years, you should get rid of, of comb. Um, what you're trying to do is you're, you're keeping a lot of those pathogens and, and nastiness from just building up in that comb. So like I said earlier, European foul brood is one of those that can kind of almost accumulate in comb. So, you know, bees might be exposed to it, have it, but it's at really low levels versus in that old comb, it can be much higher levels and they'll actually, you know, have uh, be symptomatic for it instead of just having a little bit present. Um, and so the other, the other kind of part to this is, especially if you use queen excluders, but even if you don't, I don't worry as much about honeycomb. <laughs> so that comb they're not raising brood in isn't exposed as to quite, to quite as many things. And it's, it's, you're not getting that heavy, thickened accumulation of things. And so honeycomb, I might keep significantly longer than that. And some brood comb, I might only keep a couple of years, just depending on how it looks. For everyone getting nukes, um, usually that brood comb's gone through a couple of years, not always, sometimes it's brand new, um, but, but kind of be, keep an eye out and I'll see people that bought nukes five years ago and still have the same frames, you know, <laughs> old beekeepers names on them. Um, those are, are definite ones to, to kind of keep an eye on, but, but yeah, that's it.